What's up, players, haters, and naysayers? I'm super glad at how many of you joined me for my uh, trashy escapades last night, and I appreciate you tolerating it, tolerating it and appreciating it. So I'm going to try to make it up with you and try to, uh, you know, do a better reading today, maybe. We'll see how it goes, because, you know, obviously I'm drinking again. And that probably won't stop. But these are your choices today. I don't know the name of fucking any of these stones. But it's up to you to pick which pile you like. What are you drawn to? I know this is calligraphy stone, which, you know, can be used to uh, channel other uh, entities, shall we say. And this is like a blue shiny one. And this is like a, a brown stripey one. So one, two, three. All right, you fucking cunts. Get ready for the truth. Pile one. This veiny ass fucking brown and white rock. All right, let's see what we got. We have the Ace of Swords. The Hermit. and the Six of Swords reversed. So basically someone shed some light on their truth um, with the hopes that they could move away from the situation, but they cannot and neither can you. So basically, regardless of the truth that has been told, you're not moving away from the situation. You're doing a lot of inner reflection, but the fact of the matter is, like, you know within yourself what the real truth is, or the shit that's, like, between the lines that aren't being said, which is really fucking smart, and, uh, I can appreciate that shit in a person, even though I still think you're a fucking cocksucker. Pile two. Blue shiny rock. Cause I don't fucking memorize the names of these things and I really don't care. I probably should, but you know, I'm not all about effort these days. All right, let's see. We have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Eight of Strength and Seven of Swords in reverse. Why are all these motherfucking cards in reverse? Maybe I gotta spin some shit. Anyway. The person you're dealing with or yourself is not into hard work, is fucking cowardly, and you think you can get away with shit, but you can't. And maybe you want to get away with shit. Maybe you want to be a sneaky ass fucking thief and not get caught, but you fucking will if you are. If you're a cheater, a liar, a deceiver, any of that shit. Because you can't fucking play with people. When you do that, it comes back. Alright? But you're just in this like fucking state of not moving, not doing anything because these are your tendencies. So maybe it is best for you and the rest of the world if you just, you know, hole up in your little fucking room and act like a fucking child that's been yelled at by their parents on a bad day. So peace out, loser. Pile number three is the calligraphy stone. I am channeling. No, I'm not. All right. Fuck that. All right. Here's this. All right, so we have the Two of Swords in reverse, the Three of Cups upright, and the Ten of Swords in reverse. So basically what that means is there's been an end to indecision. 
There's been celebration and freedom from being stabbed in the back. It takes the knives right out of your back to be around the people that you love, the people that support you, the people that uplift you, the people that contribute to your fucking life versus take from it. There's too many of those motherfuckers. So. All right, you cunt blasters. I hope you enjoy the rest of your fucking day. And uh, I'm not going to tell you what to do. But, um, you know, don't fuck yourself too hard. Huh?